everybody. Today, I'd like to introduce a cool app to you, Smart Mouse. The app turns your mobile into a wireless mouse, a remote control, a flash drive, and many more. To begin with, we need to build a connection between mobile and PC. Start the Smart Mouse server on your PC. Open your Smart Mouse app on mobile. Make sure they are under the same Wi-Fi network. You will automatically get the available PC to connect. Tap the PC name. And done. Easy. Now you can sit back and enjoy. After successfully connected, Smart Mouse automatically switch to the mouse tab. Here your fingers can do all the movements and functions of a mouse. Tap to left click. Two finger tap to right click. Double tap and hold to move a window or scroll bar. To select text or multiple files. Smart Mouse is smarter than a normal mouse. It could recognize what you are working on and make your life easier using more natural finger gestures. For example, open the web browser. Smart Mouse recognizes it. You can use two finger scroll to navigate up and down, back and forward. Open the PowerPoint file. Smart Mouse will know again. You can double tap to start or end full screen. Flip to turn pages. Swipe up and down to jump to the first or last page. Smart Mouse can also recognize other programs like picture or music playing. Have a try yourself and I'm sure you will find more surprises. You can transfer files freely between your PC and your mobile through Smart Mouse. If you want to send files from mobile to PC, it is very easy. Take the files you want to send and click send from the pop-out menu. And done. If you want to send files from PC to mobile, find the files you want to send. Right click and select send to mobile. And mission accomplished. To view recent files on your computer, click on the history tab. You will find five file catalogs at the top of your screen and click on them, you can view the recent history on your computer quick and easily. You can find extra functions of Smart Mouse in this tab, such as close the active window, show desktop, shut down, and etc. You can also choose to switch on and off your live screen. Personally, I wouldn't recommend live screen on if you can see the PC screen. It becomes very useful when the PC screen is out of sight. There are other options you can set and change. And of course, there's a help center. Click Help. You will get the FAQ and a link to leave feedbacks. If you have anything need to talk to us, just leave a feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.